Islam preaches us to stay united, but at the same time, we have to tell our generations that about the injustices caused by those revered by members of the other sects. How do we draw the fine line between maintaining unity along with telling history to our younger generations? Unity, unity is not that I hide what I believe in. Mm. It's that I recognize that there are others who may have reached different conclusions to me. I can still give lectures. I, I remember there was a certain time in, uh, in the Iraqi community in London. I remember when I was lecturing maybe about 12 years ago where people were saying that, you know, don't mention too much about Imam Ali and Ghadir and Jamal and Saqifa and, you know, try, you know, let's talk more, let's bring more unity. And I did used to wonder at the time that, you know, maybe they're right. Maybe we don't need to talk this much about our mm -hmm. beliefs. Then I realized, no. You talk about your beliefs openly, but you recognize that there may be others who differ with you. There are others who've taken different theological paths to you. There are others who drink from tap water while you drink from Evian. <laughs> you know, you, you got to appreciate that these things happen. So, secondly, I think trying to maintain as much Akhlaq respect as you can. while you're talking about certain sensitive mm. issues as difficult as it may be when you talk about these tragic moments in Islamic history. But now, for example, in the UK, myself, other lecturers, we've had our times where we've debated issues within our communities. We've had our times where we've discussed many sensitive issues. But I think it's very important with Islam under so much attack at the moment that the Muslims try and find ways of working together and that these theological issues can be discussed with respect and in different circles in the right time, in the right place. And with qualified people. Mm -hmm.